She's working productively now, but Cynthia, who prefers not to reveal her last name, struggled for much of her adult life with schizophrenia, a mental illness that can cause confusion, paranoia, and hallucinations. She says one of the scariest symptoms was hearing voices. Because sometimes the voices could have you to act out, you know, in a certain behavior, you know, be explosive, yelling at somebody. Schizophrenia can run in families like Cynthia's, but most cases seem to come out of the blue. Psychiatrist John McClellan of Seattle Children's Hospital says that's one reason finding a genetic cause of the illness is difficult. He and his colleagues found that people with schizophrenia were three to four times more likely to have rare gene mutations, which tended to be in areas that affect brain development. But as they wrote in the journal Science, each patient had a mutation in a different area. So it may turn out that nearly every case of schizophrenia is caused by a distinct genetic change. But McClellan says new treatments may come out of what those genes have in common. If several of those genes work within the same brain system, then treatments can be developed to stabilize that brain system uh, no matter what uh, was the cause of why it was disrupted. Current medications have stabilized Cynthia's illness. She now speaks out publicly to remind us that no matter what causes schizophrenia, it's the person, not the illness, that counts. We may have a mental illness, but it does not define who we are. We are still fun, loving, caring people. What a life! Yeah! I'm Brad Closer.